So the first part over here state that moving charges give rise to magnetic fields. So any current, any moving charge will give rise to magnetic field. We look at two things. We look at a conductor with a current and then we'll also look at moving charges. We'll look at things like electrons going in a certain direction or positive charges, for instance protons going in certain directions. Now the important thing is that when we are dealing with direction we always look at the path that a positive charge would make. So for instance in a conductor we are looking at it for going from positive to negative. In this case for the electron we would actually be viewing it that although the electron is moving in this direction we would view the direction of the current or the charge in that direction in the opposite direction. So this would be the uh, the current or the movement of the charge, we always look at it from the positive moving and here for the proton it would be like that. So firstly looking at our different magnetic fields, we use the notation that if we have a cross we are going into the page or into the board in this case and your magnetic field lines that are produced can be shown by using the right hand the thumb in the direction of the current the curled fingers in the direction of the magnetic field so uh, if we do this thumb in direction of the of the uh, current that would be into the board the curled fingers would be going clockwise as shown in the diagram here uh, if we were coming out of the board we use a dot we use the dot and a circle around it to show current going out of the board. Same thing, now our thumb is going out, pointing out from the board or out of the page and our curled fingers are going in the anti-clockwise direction and so moving uh, like that. Now if I had the situation like here but perhaps I had a another conductor and I'll do this in, in red uh, over here and uh, this this current is going into the board and if I drew my circles around there like that now we would have that the thumb is going into the board we are having um, we're going clockwise so you're going to be getting your magnetic field lines are like that in the clockwise direction now if you notice in the middle between the conductors there is that your magnetic field lines of both conductors are both going in the same direction they're actually going upwards all right so they will be combining together in between and so strengthening the magnetic field so your magnetic field in this region over here is being strengthened but on the outside we actually see here that this is going up and this is going down so you actually get a weakening of your magnetic field on the outside so here we are actually getting a a weakening of the magnetic field and this strengthening of the magnetic field in the center and weakening on the outside causes there to be a repulsion between the two so when you get when you get current going in the opposite direction when you get current going in the opposite direction it leads to a repulsion uh, between um, your conductors now if we had it going in the if we have it going in the same direction if I had for instance my currents going in the same direction like this um, now we put our thumb in the direction of the of the current now it's going anti-clockwise so going anti-clockwise like that. Now you can see in between they're actually going in opposite directions. Your magnetic fields are going in opposite direction and so you're getting a weakening of the magnetic field in between but on the outside they actually would be going in the same direction and so you're getting a strengthening on the outside and that magnetic increase in the magnetic field or difference in the strength of the magnetic field causes there to be attraction. So when you get conductors going in the same direction you get a attraction between those conductors. Now when we look at the situation uh, 
let me just go to a coil. This is a, a solenoid. A solenoid um, also leads to a magnetic field. It actually leads to a situation of a bar magnet. And um, what you do with a, bar, with, a, with a coil is that the, the curled fingers of the right hand, uh, if you put those in the direction of the current going through the coil, the thumb always points towards the north pole of the coil. So this would be your north pole, this would be your south pole. And your, it always goes from north to south on the outside, but inside the solenoid it actually goes from south to north. It's a little bit uh, different. So that's, you can use, again, using the right hand, but in this case, using your fingers in the direction of the current and your thumb points in the direction of the magnetic north of that coil. Going further on here, we're going to use this diagram over here. This is a situation where you get a current going through a magnetic field caused by magnets. So here we have two magnets. This is your north and your south. Now between magnets we take the magnetic field lines always going from north to south. So you've got your magnetic field due to your magnet going like this. And in this case we have got a current coming out of the board. So we've come and got it coming out of the board. So if I draw my magnetic field lines for that current, we're going to have something like this. Again, it's coming out of the board. And so the thumb in the direction of the current, it's the magnetic field lines are going in the anti-clockwise direction. So it's going to be like, it's going to be in this direction. Now, if you have a look, your Magnetic field lines due to your magnets are going from north to south. They're going upwards in the diagram. And your magnetic field lines on the left-hand side. Can we see here on the left-hand side, this side over here, the magnetic field lines are going in opposite directions to each other. So you actually lead to a cancelling out of the magnetic field on this side over here, a weakening of the magnetic field. But on the right-hand side of the conductor, you can see that your magnetic field lines due to your conductor and your magnets are both going in the same direction. So you're getting a build-up, a strengthening of your magnetic field on this side. Now this difference in magnetic field strength causes there to be a force in this direction on your conductor. Now again, we can use a a rule using the right hand where we put our fingers of the right hand in the direction of the magnetic field caused by the magnet. So that would be up. We would put our fingers upwards and we put our thumb in the direction of the current. So that would be sticking out of the board. That's our thumb and uh, the palm of our hand is in the direction of the force. So fingers up, we've got our thumb coming out and therefore our force would be in that direction over there. That would be the direction of the force on this conductor. And that is the force that is used to drive electric motors. It's a very useful man has used it extensively for um, producing motion from currents and magnets.